hi guys welcome back so today's video is actually going to be my wish list for season 5 of power and I know what most of you are going to be thinking is, didn't they just show the season finale yes they did but my my philosophy in life is you can never be too early to put in like your wishes and to put in you know a good word of what you want to see for the next season so this video is going to be my five wish list or my five things I want to see in the next season of power so my name is Ifa Labi. please subscribe to my channel the subscribe button is down there subscribe to my channel and then let's get into this wish list so the first thing I want to see in the season five is that the like Andre's revenge or Andre's come up and should be slow and like well thought out I don't want it to be like they'll just walk up to him and just shoot him and then that's it no 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 because no. the way he put so much thought into like taking over Tommy's uh, like empire I think that's the same thoughts that should be taken into he coming down you know there should be little nips and pieces like there should be little nips and tucks into his organization so when he thinks he's on top there's something will happen for it to go down so it won't be cut and dried it won't be like they'll just walk up to him or they'll just burn his organization or just do something elaborate no 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 and I want it to be like you know when he thinks everything's on top then it's shaky then he can rectify it but then something else happens and then that's shaky and then he'll be so confused and but because like he doesn't know where it's coming from he will still be you know complacent about his his work because honestly honestly i don't want it to be like some cut and dried process no no no, no. i want it to be slow well thought of so that when they finally get to kill him the shock on his face that would be the highlight of the whole season for me like that's what i want to see for the next season that andre's come up pens should be slow well thought of like it should be a well detailed plan because right now he's with the jimenez people jimenez brothers or the jimenez cartel so it shouldn't be a well cut it shouldn't be cut and dry no no, no. it should be slow and to the point and that's what i want to see in the next season so can we just agree that terry killing ray ray and the season finale was crazy like you get that oh my god this was such like a huge scene you know? this was such like a huge step from for Tariq because he's seeing people get killed left and right so he actually taking that step to kill someone was a huge deal for him so going to season five i want there to be like consequences for him like i want him to be able to face the consequences of what he did and what he's gone through i, I don't like basically the first consequence should be from his parents i want Tasha and Ghost should to actually actually like do something to like he should actually go through some sort of penance not penance but they should go through some sort of consequence because he lied to them so they should be able to take certain decisions on his lying to them because they shouldn't just be like okay he killed someone so that negates all the bullshit that he's done no he sh should face the music for the stupid decisions he's made because even though you felt that your parents were lying to you, you still made certain decisions that affected your family that ended up with your twin sister getting killed. You know, like that shouldn't just be swept under the rug because he made it right by killing someone. Because first of all, he killed someone. That should be the first thing. He killed someone. And he, like, gets a revenge doesn't make it right because two wrongs don't make it right. So I want him to face consequences from his parents and from the world. Like, I don't know how he's going to get it, but then. He will likely go through PTSD and the handling of the PTSD too should be done well. It shouldn't be like just swept under the rug. I don't want the Tariq storyline to be swept under the rug. I want there to be like major consequences that he will experience that we will know that he's going through because for the whole season four, right? He's been my least favorite person. And I hate Andre. So that's so that's telling you something. Cause anytime Tariq came out, I was like, oh my god, this guy is just going to do another dumb decision. And I was not wrong because he kept on making dumb decisions after dumb decisions after dumb decisions. And I feel like in the season five, he should face the consequences of those dumb decisions. So this is me hoping that we get to see some real action from the from his parents for once. So for once, his parents should act like parents. So that's what I want to see in season five. His parents acting like his parents. All right. The next I want to see in the season five is that the real estate deal that ghost went in with stern will actually have a kind of payoff i don't want it to be like something that they just touched upon like for storyline sake or for a redemptive factor sake i wanted to actually play out and how you know his interaction with councilman tate and 
the deals that the councilman wants him to go through i want that to be like a real payoff for that story so i don't want it to be like something that will just be pushed to the background because he's all full out revenge on his enterprise no i want the real estate thing to actually make sense i want it to like go through the motions i want to see what councilman what councilman tate has in store for him because you see that's my problem with them represent like presenting a black councilman and then he being crooked i thought that you know let let this black councilman actually be on the up and up but no we have a black councilman that is actually very shady because he looks hella shady as hell so i want either ghost should outsmart him or he should help ghost because that real estate deal has to have a certain kind of payoff and in season five we should see that kind of payoff so will it be the councilman betraying ghost ghost killing him him doing something shady he making sure ghost goes into jail is it you get to like all these factors should come into play so let's see the push and pull between these two black men why am i putting black men in quotation <laughs> these two upstanding yes these two upstanding men and how they each present their new and improved look to the rest of the world and doesn't councilman tate look like he has some shady shit in his past i don't know i feel like when you scratch at the surface a lot you get some kind of shade so let's hope for the shade from the councilman in season five i really hope season five is a season in which angela is implicated for something because in season four i thought she would actually like face certain consequences for some of her decisions but oh no she got a promotion even after she derailed a whole investigation a whole court case she got a promotion but in season five this is me hoping that she actually gets into trouble because if you remember in the season four finale she is the one that gave tasha the address so if she gave the address it means she is complicit in the murder so she knows something about the murder because right now angela has sort of confessed to her lawyer aka terry silver aka really though how could you just spring up on some a woman that is grieving at her daughter's funeral with the i love you bullshit silver honestly i really don't like him at all so but this is but that's just by the way but this is me saying that angela should face certain consequences angela should go through something anything like she should be fired she should i don't know something should happen to her she should work for proctor but she should be implicated in whatever it is that's going to go down because right now she'll either try to call for tasha because she knows what went down or the whole new and improved ghost and tommy case that the da is building up she'll be part of it so it's either that or that but and something should happen to Angela. I, I I don't know. I don't know. I don't like her. She looks She feels like a loose thread to me and I don't like loose threads. So Angela something should happen to her or if nothing, she should just die, you know Just kill him Who cares? I care but at the same time who cares? So in my last wish list for season 5 is that I want to see some real real action between ghosts Canaan and the Teresi people that's Tommy's father and the family because right now we are getting some serious you know that the gang is back together because bear in mind that Tommy and Ghost actually betrayed Kanan and sent him to jail so if right now Kanan is back into their fold there should be some serious you know we should get a little hint of the background into them we should get you know a little bit of a power play between the three of them you know because right now if they are if they are coming together Tommy has the most fire power because he has his father's family behind him so we should get to see a little bit of how he wants to be the one in charge as opposed to leaving ghost or canaan in charge so i want to see that between these three characters there should be a little bit push and pull there shouldn't be like oh okay ghost is the one with the plan or this is the one with the plan no it should be no no, no. you have the plan but i have the this you have the that but i have the you get it so it should be a lot of push and pull and i really want to see how and they come together and do everything it will be amazing like it will be really really cool to see so that's it that's my five wish list for the next season i know the next season is next year right but bear in mind that game of thrones is also coming out in two years so for 
doing wish list, I think I'm right on the nose. And also, the executive producer of the show, Kwani Kemp, was saying that the show might come to an end very soon. And I think that the show, if the show is going to come to an end, it might be because of 50 Cent. 50 Cent is like the Kung Fu Doom Fu of the show. Like, his character Kanan is very great to the show. But 50 Cent somehow impedes the show because, you know, he's always picking up, he's always picking beef with other shows. He's always like, apparently he lead the episodes of Power, you know, all these little things. Some networks don't really like it. So if the show ends early, he might be one of the reasons. But I really hope it doesn't end early. And also, if they're going to end, it should end on the bank. Like, it shouldn't be one of those things that after a while it just drags and drags and drags. No, it should actually like give us a finale that is worth thinking about that's worth orgasming to do you get it so then that's just it so i'm done with this video this is going to be like this is i planned this to be a very short wish list so i'm done add your wish list leave your comments below tell me what you want to see in the next season of power tell me what you thought of the season four finale i love the season four finale because it was everything 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 like it was the sort of finale that makes you go <gasps> you, you know it was I loved it. It was amazing. It was good. Ghost, just a Sakura or Mario Hardik, you guys are amazing. Like every character on the show is actually amazing. And to the character that plays Tariq, you are doing amazing. Cause for people to hate you so much, that means you are doing something well with your role. So I'm done with this video. So catch me on my next video. That's going to be on Sunday, right, honeys? We are going to talk about Marvel's Defenders. And check out my other videos. That are going to be at my side subscribe to my channel please don't forget to leave your comments like this video and i'll catch you on my next video